Hello, hello. Uh, we're back again. This is uh, Sarah taking a look at some of the tech headlines for today. And uh, I'm going to tackle a tough one uh, for me. Uh, that is a little bit here on what's cr called cryptocurrency or uh, the most well-known crypto is uh, Bitcoin. Uh, and I'm going to state this outright. If anyone can help me understand this topic clearly, I would appreciate the help. I've looked at other YouTube videos. I've looked at websites. I find it difficult to understand, but uh, we will uh, at least look at some of the implications today. So Facebook's Libra is so shady, it actually united Congress. Uh, this was from uh, the Mashable website. And here it says, for the second day in a row, Republican and Democrat lawmakers slammed Facebook over its digital currency Libra. Members of the House Committee on Financial Services backed the message of their Senate colleagues from yesterday. They don't trust Facebook. Surprise. Representative Maxine Waters opened the hearing by blasting Facebook's pattern of failing to keep consumer data private on a scale similar to Equifax and said that if Libra launches, the company and its partners will yield immense economic power that could destabilize currencies. Libra is a blockchain-based digital currency or cryptocurrency which Facebook formally announced last month. It's overseen by a nonprofit headquartered in Switzerland, the Libra Association of which Facebook is a member. The social media giant also created a subsidiary group, Calibra, for its own Libra-related products. One of Facebook's main selling points for the digital currency is its ability to provide instantaneous monetary transfers at minimal fees. Representative Patrick Henry asked David Marcus, the current head of Calibra, why they needed to create its own currency to do so. We would like for Libra to be a digital global currency, as a result be one unit of digital currency for the whole world, Marcus replied. This is why we believe it's the right approach. Much like at the Senate's hearing, Republicans commended Facebook on the endeavor to build something new. Some on the committee even criticized the idea of holding hearings on Libra right now, just one month after the company's announcement. Kudos on the innovation, said Representative Sean Duffy, but this didn't stop the Republican congressman from stumping Facebook's Marcus with a line of questioning regarding who can use Libra. This is important. Can Milo Yiannopoulos use Libra? Can Louis Farrakhan? Both of these people are banned from Facebook, said Duffy. Can a gun dealer? The sale of firearms on Facebook's marketplace is banned from the social networking platform. I don't know yet, explained Marcus. I don't know yet. That's not a good answer, but okay. So what is with this? What is blockchain and cryptocurrency? So to kind of go off away from Facebook for the moment, the most well-known currency is Bitcoin. Um, how does it work? Uh, well, in a nutshell, and this is what I could find. Bitcoin is first released as an open source software in 2009. It's generally considered the first decentralized cryptocurrency. Since the release of Bitcoin, over 4,000 altcoins, alternative variants of Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies have been created. Now, what becomes important with Bitcoin is this blockchain. Central to the blockchain is cryptography or cryptology. And this is the practice and study of techniques for secure communication in the presence of third parties called adversaries. More generally, cryptography is about constructing and analyzing protocols that prevent third parties or the public from reading private messages, various aspects in information security such as data confidentiality, data integrity, authentication, and non-repudiation are central to modern cryptology. Modern cryptography exists at the intersection of the disciplines of mathematics, computer science, electrical engineering, communication science, and physics. Applications of cryptography include electronic commerce, chip-based payment cards, digital currencies, computer passwords, and military communications. Now, blockchain is a growing list of records called blocks that are linked using cryptography. Each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block, a timestamp, and transaction data. A cryptocurrency is a digital asset designed to work as a medium of exchange that uses strong cryptography to secure financial transactions, control the creation of additional units, and verify the transfer of assets. Cryptocurrencies use decentralized control as opposed to centralized digital currency and central banking systems. 
The decentralized control of each cryptocurrency works through distributed ledger technology, typically a blockchain that serves as a public financial transaction database. That is, the blockchain or the distributed ledger technology means that the more people have access to this open ledger, this distributed ledger, the less likely uh, or the less able someone is to actually create a, a fake counterfeit block. I have this last link here, uh, the CBI Insights. I am going to take a look at it, but I just wanted to put this one out because blockchain and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is coming. It's here. Um, it's been around for 10 years now and uh, it's coming out more and more. With Facebook coming up with its own, we don't know what the implications are going to be of this. So it's important. If you like this content, please send me an email, a like, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you the next time. Thank you.